Hello, Shuffle Squad. It's me, your boy. For the win, TCG. That was quite cringy, wasn't it? <laughs> Here with my first video on the channel. I'm super, super pumped to be on the Shuffle Squad. So let's get going, baby. We're going to be playing with Giratina V-Star today, looking at this deck and seeing what exactly makes it so good. And I'll try my best not to misplay, I swear, I promise. But before we do, let's go into the sponsors for the Shuffle Squad. So first off, we have PDCGO, store with the 5% off at checkout code TSS5. So if you're looking to purchase codes, definitely head over there and use that code. Love PDCGO store, great people. And if you're looking to purchase singles, then go to Atlas Collectibles TCG with TSS12 for 12% off store-wide for any single card that you want to get from there. Anything on their site, as I said, it is store-wide, so that's great stuff. We've also got Pokey X Word that has the regular Pokemon crosswords and guess that Pokemon. Really, really nice way to just spend your free time and try and improve your Pokemon knowledge. And then finally, we have the Shuffle Squad Patreon. So if you want to get some extra content, get involved and support the Shuffle Squad, definitely click that link in the description. And as I said, sponsors mentioned are linked in the description down below. So if you're interested in using any of those services, go right ahead. Thank you very much. Let's go into the deck, baby. Okay, okay. So give Giratina V-Star. This deck was definitely the most hyped up one when Lost Origins came out. And I, to be honest with you, I don't think anyone expected for it to turn out like this. I'll look at this list and go, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> but it has. And honestly, through playing it myself, I can see why it is so good and also fun to play. You've got the Giratina V-Star in here with a Lost Impact having that 28, 28, 280, not 28 damage. What are you talking about? 280 damage. Put two energy attached to your Pokemon in the Lost Zone. So just a strong great one hit KO attack on the Giratina and honestly in this deck it's not that hard to actually get going which is the wildest thing. But what's even more attractive about the card is the star Requiem V star power. For just a grass and a psychic energy if you have 10 or more cards in a lost zone you just KO the active Pokemon. Filth. And because this is technically similar to a lost box deck we still have the typical lost engine cards that we have in there. Of course we've got Comfy with that flower selecting allow us to get cards into the lost zone and help with our draw power. We have Chorus's experiment as we all know, going ahead and giving us more draw power. We have Cramorant here with the free attack if you have four prizes, four prizes, four cards in the loft zone. We also have Drapion V in here for the Mu V Max matchup, being able to just one hit KO Mu V Max. Definitely a good card to have. And of course, finally, a Luminion V. Sometimes you can get some hands in here where it is a bit bricky and you just need the Luminion to find a simple Chorus experiment and just get the ball rolling. So this card has been very useful as well. So we've got that in here too. And Sableye for a little bit of extra spread damage. So overall, really looking forward to playing this deck in testing it just seems to be so fun and so good so i think i'm on like an 11 wins out of 12 with this deck right now so definitely good stuff so with that said let's get moving bro look at this hand bro <laughs> jeez two vip pass i'll have that for dinner lovely look at that get that bad boy down and i think well we are gonna battle vip pass again don't want to overboard though oh uh, you know overbench sorry not overboard <laughs> man overboard do i go for we got the free comfy i think we get a tina down Maybe I get a bit aggressive here and start just trying to set up the Tina immediately. I think so. Because it's like we're playing. Oh, let's just have some fun. Let's just have some fun, man. Come on. Let's have a good time. Let's conceal cards first. I want to get, get a bit more in the end. You know what I mean? I'll have it. I'll take it. So flower select. So we go for. Ooh. Let's go for boss. That's quite a hard choice, actually. I can't lie. That ain't, to me, that ain't easy, bro. That wasn't an easy one. Let's retreat to the comfy here. He's flower select again. Oh my god, they're giving me tough ones. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like Roxanne, bro. Kind of like Roxanne. We got we got multiple scoopies, okay? Yeah, I'm over benching. But we got scoop ups. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's okay. I, guess I can hear you screaming through the screen. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> what are you doing? You're butchering the deck. Listen, I'm having fun. All right. Um... Okay, three in the lost zone. Decent start. No Colres, though, for next turn, which is problematic. And this is where I said we need Luminion. So I guess maybe I did overbench because what I should have done probably is get the Ultra Ball and that will get me a Luminion next turn and go ahead and go for the Colres. See, basically, it's not misplaying if I acknowledge it after I misplayed. Yeah, that made no sense. <laughs> yeah. Absolute nonsense. Ah, oh, look, they got the 70 HP Sobble. Okay, I hear it. What do you think about that, by the way? 70 HP Sobble or 60? Love to know. Because uh, I kind of, I kind of, I'm kind of pro 70 HP Sobbles, bro. Because I can't lie, when I come up against Lost, Bo Lost Box and I'm playing Inteleon, I am bricking it if I've got my rapid, um, my rapid uh, Sobbles. 
six HP ones. Because I'm like, bro, like, oh, it's nuts. Especially because the thing is, you're going to be scooping up a lot, benching them again, and all it takes is a Sableye to ruin your day. So I, I'm, I'm all full of 70 HP Sobble. Even though you can't keep calling, bro, yeah, I'm full of 70 HP Sobble for me. Um, especially in decks that don't rely on a very quick setup turn. Now, this one kind of does. Oh, they're playing it with that? Oh, they're going for the Frostmoth boy. All right, I thought they were going for more of a, a, a Melanie priority. So we've got to be careful of other cards here as well, though. They may very well have a Curum in here somewhere or something like that. I don't know. Look, my ELO, I'm afraid, right? Doing a video on my channel, deck turned out to be trash. And my ELO tanked for me. <laughs> so I've spent last night clawing up. This is how I got like 11 wins straight with this deck. Was like I'm claw I was trying to claw my ELO back into um, its, its decent levels. So we're, we're kind of there. Kind of, he says with great confidence. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to do snipe me, boys. Okay. Say no more, my friend. I can just... I still got... Uh, okay. Let's just go for concealed cards. See what we got with us here. Okay. It's not the best. We're going to go and flower select here. Again, not great. You could be useful. No. Actually, no. I mean, it could be because of uh, quick shooting Inteleon, rapid strike Pokemon, but I don't think it's going to be that good. And also, I'll take Amani over anything. Right, which one did I just use? I'm guessing this is the one I haven't used. Yeah. 50 50 charts. Of course, I've got it. <laughs> um, oh, another energy, bro. I don't like Lost Zone in my energies, you know. I ain't a fan of it. Uh, it's fine, we got three more three more Mirage Gate. It's okay, don't worry. It's fine. And then I'm going to attach the grass here. I'm going to Rod now? No. Or do I do I Marnie net and save the rod for later? I could just boss. No, see Marnie's gonna help them a lot. How many are we in the loss zone? We're five. Maybe I should have just attacked with Cramorant instead of committing a bit too much to the Lost Zone. I don't know. I, I'm going to... But, oh, oh, what do I do? So Marnie's going to help them more. Boss means they technically can't... Depending on which... I don't know what I'm telling on this is, but depending on it... I don't think they can attack if they have to attach Retreat, right? If they evolve, if they evolve a Frostmoth and have like a research, then, you know, it's wrapped, mate. But if not, it might be the play of the game. Oh, bugger. Oh, yeah. Yes, they did get the, the Inteleon bef the result before. I didn't realize. <laughs> right. So, this is a great start. <laughs> great ball. They must have support. They must have a, a research in hand. No? They have to. They have to. Sobble. Why great ball, though? Why not levels? Oh, they've got exactly what I said. If they have a rich move and a research, he says. Bloody what happens then, done it? Bugger! <laughs> oh no, it's fine though. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, they got out of it. Well ran. We just gotta just get our Tina out, bro. Get our Tina out. Get some more stuff in the Lost Zone. You never know. We could start Requiem next turn, I think. I don't know. If we can, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, mate. Anything, please. Anything. But they are gonna pop off a little bit here. They could probably take two prizes this turn if they do. Exactly what I think they're going to go and get ahead and get. So this is the Inteleon from... Oh, Sword and Shield base set, I think. What one's it called? Max Bullet one. 160 and 60 to the bench. Pretty cheeky card in, in current format. You know. Bear in mind, I'm not playing Manaphy. Um, a lot of these decks don't play Manaphy, apparently, nowadays. Apart from Tord's List, which is not Giratina. That one's just Lost Box, right? That one plays two Manaphys, which is funny enough, I said, no one plays two Manaphys. He goes ahead and does it. <laughs> and wins Furia with it. Right, there they go. So they're popping off there. Interestingly enough, yeah. Why did they retreat first? Because they can't retreat now. They retreated the Frostmoth into this Sobble. Why didn't they just attach the energy and retreat into... Unless I've missed something. Oh, no. There we go, max bullet. So 160, 60 to the bench. They could easily, if they if they were able to get this into active, just go ahead and take multiple prizes. But no, they've done whiffed. Right. I've got to use me noggin here, haven't I? I've got to use my brain. So we've got five. Six, seven, right? Give me, now I wish I took, I need a, I need a few cards. I need a few good cards here, I can't lie. 
I do need a few good cards here. I'm going to scoop this one up. Let's go for this. I think I'm going to go for... Ah, oh, see, Greninja would be really good here as well, you know. Greninja would be kind of nuts. We could just take out the Frostmorph. Or, or we could just take out both of these bad boys. But then, I want to start Requiem this turn. I can do that. No, I can't. No, I can't. But I can KO this. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> no, I can't. All right. So, maybe I try and build towards Greninja here. Maybe that's what I try and do. If we can just get a Mirage Gate. We've got a Col Res. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're, we're getting somewhere. Col Res. Ah! Oh! Bagger! No Mirage Gate. No, we need Rod more than Caught, I think. They got Caught themselves. Ah, oh, I need a Mirage Gate. Wait, we still got a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Please. I need Mirage Gate. I want a Greninja this turn, baby. Oh, damn. Look at that. All right, so. Please, for the love of God, say I haven't priced anything. <laughs> okay, I haven't. So we can go for this play. Um, probably get the grass, right? And we can just, for now, just take out these two, right? Yes, they're going to get a max bullet next turn. Yes, they're going to take two prizes. But we're taking two prizes in advanced. And we could hopefully from there get ourselves into a position where we can just get Tina V Star out, right? And then we can just Star Recruit this bad boy because we can get to a point where, we, you know, an extra Cold Race experiment, a couple more Confies maybe would be good. I wish I had another scoop up. I'd love to scoop up one more of the Confies, but it's fine. I think we are good to go for just a simple Moonlight Shuriken. And just take out these two, right? That's got to be the play. Right, so that's two down. And how many more do we need in the Lost Zone, by the way, in order to activate Star Requiem? That's a good question. Another Mirage Gate. Beautiful. Okay, so we prized one. <laughs> um, so we are currently... Oh, we're there. Okay, we're there. Bang on, mate. Beautiful stuff. We're already there. Oh, look at you, little crushing hammer. Oh, no, I'm so scared. It's fine, bro. We're Gucci. Mirage Gate, the team. We got Rod. Bring him back into the deck. Mirage Gate, say no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and to be fair, if they... No, I was about to say if they whiff it, but they don't. Obviously, they just got Retreat and take the KO. But, bro, it's calm. Start Requiem, bang. Then you go for the old... What's the attack called? Lost Impact. Oh, come off it! Listen, you're just inviting your own demise, you see. You brought me up. You're inviting it, and funnily enough, they decided not to take multiple prize cards. They've decided to go for, just hit the Giratina and take out a Confi, I expect. Which I get, because I have Star Requiem on the line, you want to be able to get me out and down before that happens. And of course, I haven't actually got the Tina V Star yet. So if I can't get it, it kind of wraps, mate. You know what I mean? So this is kind of a big turn for us here. Massive turn, actually, so to speak. Oh, <laughs> we top deck the thing. <laughs> oh, great, so I love my life. <laughs> okay, so just in case we've got uh, problems here. I know. Thank you. I, I did I did all of that. That was all me. It wasn't heart of the cards, none of that nonsense. Nah. <laughs> just to be sure, that's going to guarantee the Mirage Gate KO there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Look at that. Madness. Okay. And we're going to recover a... Water energy and just attach it here. Because we could, regardless, next turn of what they do, get to a point where we could just KO the Sobble or something, or whatever they bench, and then that's game, right? So I think we're good. We don't even need to do anything else. I don't want to play any supporter cards. Could Cold Res here, but do you know what? I think we're fine. I think we're, I've got faith, you see. I've got faith in this yet. Yeah? In, me, in me boys. We did prize the Tina. We also prize the Scoop up. And that is going to be one prize remaining. So even if they get this Tina down, as long as they have a Pokemon bench less than 90 HP, Greninja will pick up the pieces. Greninja coming in clutch today, bro. Absolutely clutch. There we go. Beautiful stuff, man. Let's go to the next game. Right, so if I'm correct, we're playing against the Rapid uh, the, 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 the League Battle deck. So Rapid Strike League Battle deck. Um, Man, I need to get my ELO back, I swear. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't be long. I'm just going to play Meta decks and start destroying everything until I get back. <laughs> 
But one deck can really tank your whole the whole thing, you know. It can tank tank the whole thing. Um, okay. Let's do the comfy there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play training court. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I was gonna say discard an energy, but I, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Get Greninja out. Use Greninja to draw some more. Then Col Reds. Right? Oh, we're playing Turbo Baby. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. You gotta be wary of this bad boy though. You know what I'm saying? Give me some switch stuff. There we go. Lovely. You're critical. I learned that. And I think that's cool. Roxanne. Mm, they could rapid strike. They could rapid flow next turn, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of mad. It is kind of mad. Don't know how I feel about that, mate. I don't know how I feel about that. What else do we get here? Uh, we don't need the other comfy, do we? We can attach retreat, which just helps us a little bit more. If I can get a little hit on this Urshi, that'd be so nice. Mm, it's a tough one, but I think you've got to go for the Coral Res, right? You just have to. There's just no choice at that point. Now, we're just going to go past there. Four at the start, fine. Perfectly fine. Usually that's ideal, actually. Drapion can come in and do some work. Now, it's not ideal because it's weak to fight him, but it can. Just saying, right? It can come in and do some work here because it can attack for free. So if, even if we... It's odd, right? But we could cram out this bad boy, Drapion, Choice Belt, KO, and Rapid Ush through VMAX. We can do that. Also, ah! Ah! Oh, no. Scary. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. No! <laughs> oh, God, I've got the Empoleon. Right, I forgot the League Battle Deck plays Empoleon as well. Empoleon's actually just going to completely lock off my abilities here. All of them. <laughs> you fraud! <laughs> okay, all I need to do is find an escape rope. That's all I need, right? I just need to find an escape rope. Please. Yes, we got an escape rope. Let's go. Okay, so we can at least use the, the abilities now, which is nice. Uh, it seems that, it's a shame that I have to go to escape rope before using this comfy, but you know what? The game's the game. We are currently at six in the lost zone. Cramran is online. I'm going to be greedy here. Let's get the Tina. I'm going to recover. Psychic. Doesn't really matter, does it? How many are we at? Okay, so that's seven now, right? So, Mirage Gate's online. But currently, no outs to Atina V. Could try and dig for one. It's risky business. I'm going to cram out this turn. I know that. Okay. No. Let's... Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's keep going. Oh, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> I need both of them. Excuse me. Can I have both, please? Right. Do I bench the Tina now? I kind of I kind of want to, right? Because Mirage Gate's online. Oh, maybe I maybe I hold it. I guess use that energy for Sableye. If we get there next turn. Oh, I'm just worried about the rapid flow. I am. Okay. We're going to commit. We're going to commit. We're going to commit and do the bit, okay? We're going to commit. I'm not going to attach the choice belt. Now, funnily enough, Empoleon also shuts off Cramorant. So if they just retreat to Empoleon, again, it's problems. Um, but we can Marnie and stuff like that. Try and dig for those Mirage Gates. And then uh, just get the Tina going. You know what I mean? Start attacking with Tina, activate Star Requiem. I mean, we're on... Uh, what are we on now? So it'd be... That's uh, six, seven, eight. So lo Lost Impact will actually just bring us straight to 10 anyway and I'll activate Requiem. So if we can just Lost Impact this for a KO and then find a, a boss and lock Lost Requiem there, then we're good. We're, that's game, right? Simple stuff. So even though they're taking... Uh, well, I've had to say, bro, I, <laughs> my heart went there. I completely forgot they were playing um, Peon Peonia. Peonia? Peonia? Pianist? I don't like to play piano. I thought they took three prizes for some reason. <laughs> Bro, my heart just went, yo, what? <laughs> Have I just missed half of the game? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Well, they're going to pop off now, aren't they? That's, that's for sure. Is this a league battle deck? Has it just been updated? Like, did, is Pionia in that league battle deck? I don't know. 
Okay, so they're going to strafe. They're committing to the, the Empoleon. I, do you know what? I rate the ting. I rate the ting. But to last, my friend, I think it's a bit too, uh, a bit too late, you know? A bit too late. Star Requiem isn't online, unfortunately. Maybe I just give it another turn. Maybe I just wait. Wait it out, you know? Their hand's dead. Their hand's saying nothing. I could boss, and I want to save that boss for a, for a Star Requiem KO. So maybe I just pass. Make him think I ain't got it. Let's play some, let's play some mind games. I'm going to pass. Make him think I ain't got it, right? Then they're going to go ahead and go, oh, yay, free KO, KO the Cramorant. I'm going to come up, right? Oh, bugger. Okay, sweet, fine. <laughs> I'm going to come up, and what would I do then? Just lost impact KO. I want them to get the big boys out because that's so easier, right? I'd love to be able to just boss up one of these bad boys and just wreck him for game. So, sorry, wreck him for free prizes. Lost impact this one for free prizes. You know, if they just evolve these, but they're not going to evolve this one, are they? No, but that is a nice Cramorant KO late game, maybe. So we need to consider our prize mapping now. So uh, maybe they're not going to go for the Rapid Urshifu. Knowing that Requiem could be online. At which point, we then need to go for free two prize Pokemon. And then that's just basically Lost Impact, Lost Impact, Requiem, right? Yeah, that's the idea, at least, for the whole deck. <laughs> so to speak. So let's see what they decide to do anyway. So it seems like they are attacking with Empoleon. They are getting the Rapid Boy out. Oh, but mate, by all means, <laughs> do the thing, bro, because I'm coming up next turn and ruining it. I'm ruining it. How many are we at now, just to be sure? So that's six. Okay, eight. I did I did check that before, didn't I? <laughs> that's nine. That's ten. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I would like... Oh, no, I do. I do need a, at least another outs to a switch, though, don't I? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to get some clutch moves here. I need to get two in the loss zone, which means I need to comfy twice. Means I'm going to see four cards. I'm going to see two cards now. One of them has to be an outs to a switch. Has to be an outs to a switch. If we don't get it already. Okay, beautiful. Oh. We just realized something. They've got the Empoleon. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, in that case. Oh, bugger. Forgot about that. Absolutely forgot about that. Dare I bring up a Drapion? <laughs> no, 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 I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Maybe I... See, Lost Impact isn't KOing this because its HP is too high. Our Lost Impact is currently doing 310. Ah... Uh, Maybe we do, because Sable I can just sort it out, right? Actually, Sable I can do a madness, bro. Oh, oh it's like one damage counter off. Because obviously, if they don't evolve this one... Oh, that's five prizes, though. We want to take six. I want to Requiem this bad boy. So maybe I bring up Giratina, just take out the Empoleon, Requiem this, and maybe I can just Sable I late game for a single prize. Maybe that's the way to go. Okay. All right. Okay, I hear it. I hear it. Let's do that. So, I'm going to need to dig for energy as well, though. Maybe I just take out the Empoleon then, because I've got the KO here. I'm going to drop the Sableye. I'm going to drop the Choice Belt. And I think I'm going to Marnie. What, should I drop the Sableye? I don't know. Cause, ah, I'm worried about the Rapid Flow, bro. I think I'm going to do that. KO this. Not going to boss. Oh, I don't know. Let's Marnie them. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Giratina ain't going down. I need I need I need energy. Okay, that's not looking good either. Um. Damn, that hand is trash. <laughs> but it's fine. We've got Luminion to get us out of it, so that's okay. We're just gonna lost impact here. Let's get. Okay, hold on. Let me check. Oh, I can't check my... Excuse me! I want to check my lost zone! I can't! The card's in the way! <laughs> oh, I need to see what's best to get rid of here, but I'm assuming it's going to be a psychic. Grass. Okay, yeah. Grass. Psychic was the one to get rid of. Alright, two prizes. Mirage Gate! Beautiful, man! Oh! That's so lovely. All right. And even lost vacuum. So if they try to be cheeky and get like a path to peek out or something like that, I can get rid of that. We can Luminium for boss. 
um, and Mirage Gate. So we can just boss Requiem this, assuming we survive the turn afterwards, and then just take game from there. They are not going to Rapid Flow. Whoa. My friend. That's a very, just very interesting decision you've made there. I do have Luminium, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to be sure. I don't know, man. It's hard. To, this deck's very hard to keep track of. <laughs> but Luminium, bang, boss, Requiem. And then from there, one prize remaining. However it goes, it goes, right? Pretty much game at that point. So we just need the energy. Mirage Gate's got that for us. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So, and we even got the boss top deck. My gosh, my top deck like today has been... Mwah. I'm, bro, I'm so glad I got rid of the, the Psychic because I had no grass left. <laughs> okay. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to boss you. We're going to Requiem you. Star Requiem. Yeah, definitely. Star Requiem that. And if they take out the Tina, Sableye is there. Right? Now they could... No, Rapid Flow ain't going to do it. They could, they could get rid of the Sableye with the Rapid Flow, right? But the Giratina is still online for a Lost Impact. Um, so unless they could get this bad boy up with a Rapid Flow full HP, I pretty much have game, right? Pretty much have game. Now, granted, this is a more established list versus what seems to be the League Battle deck. I don't know if that was in there, but or at least the development of the League Battle deck. Um, this isn't like a Melody, I should feel, which would be a completely different matchup, different game. Um, so we've got to take that into account, but... Mate, Tina's is still good fun, man. Still good fun. I tell you what, <laughs> big brain, man. Big brain. My brain, small brain. I got small brain. <laughs> I try. I try. I do try. Okay, so they are gonna come up with the. They are coming up the fresh one. Whoa! Did they just 180 me, bro? Brother, how did you pull that off then? <laughs> Fair play. They just took out Bettina, but it's too little, too late. Sable is coming in, and it's gonna do a nice. As it always does, just sweep up. You know, just dust the ting. And that be game. <laughs> Look at that beautiful. We're just going to take this out just for good measure. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. GG's, my friends. Hey, lovely stuff. Beautiful. Tina doing bits. So what do I think about this list? Well, it's proven, that's for sure. So I can definitely sit here and go, it's a good deck, definitely. Uh, the list I have it is slightly different to the one that did pretty well at Pieria. Um, I, I really want to see how this deck does at SLC as well coming up. I believe that's this weekend. Um, so I really want to see how this, de uh, this deck does there as well. God, that's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Or maybe I just can't speak. <laughs> no, no, I really do like this deck. It is really, really good fun to play. Giratina is just absolute filth, man. Just disgusting card. Being able to do a straight 280 and just have a one hit KO attack. It's not even that hard to achieve. And let's have all these resources available. It's no wonder it's doing so well. And it actually is a proven deck. Um, so yeah, the difference between the other list I, I did want to mention, by the way, is I did put a choice belt in here. So the other Tina list uh, from Peoria um, that I based this list off from um, didn't really have a choice belt in there. But I thought, you know, sometimes it's nice to claw up. You know, you, you may, on the ladder, so to speak, you can play against Arcus, and they sometimes they throw the charm on and stuff like that. And you just want to not have to deal with that. You can just go ahead and choice belt. Just get the KO. Uh, but I understand why it's not there because Sableye can pick up those pieces that are left behind anyway. Um, so if you do Tina and just miss those 1-8 KOs, Sableye can come in and do the rest. Uh, and Cramorant too. But then you're better off leaning heavier into the Sableye if you're going down that, that road. But either way, Listen, I'm not one to make too much criticisms of the deck. It's good. It works and it wins. So definitely try it out for yourself. Definitely let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the Shuffle Squad and take care. Peace. The Shuffle Squad is proudly sponsored by Atlas Collectibles, the best place to buy any trading card game product online. Visit atlastcg.com and at the checkout screen, make sure to use code TSS12 to save an unbeatable 12% off your entire order. Atlas Collectibles will ship your product anywhere in the world, so make sure you're taking advantage of the 12% savings with TSS12. And if Pokemon is not your thing, don't worry. Go to atlastcg.com and see all the other amazing trading card game products they have there to offer. The Shuffle Squad has partnered with PTCGO Store to provide our community with the best access to Pokemon TCG codes. They have codes available 24-7 instant email delivery, and you can save 5% off by using code TSS5. If you're a YouTube member or Patreon supporter, you'll have access to a special code that gets you 10% off. 
So what are you waiting for? Use code TSS5 today and save 5% on your next order of codes on any codes available at ptcgostore.com. Poke X Word, the best place to get your fill of Pokemon inspired puzzles. New puzzles are posted every day and they recently launched a new Guess That Pokemon puzzle, which is a ton of fun to play. Go check them out at pokexword.com and be sure to follow them on Twitter for your chance to win a ton of PTCGO codes every month. Check out the Late Night Series Season 6, brought to you by myself, Zach Lesage, and the Shovel Squad. We're going to be running a bunch of sick events for the Pokemon community, and they start on August 30th. So one thing you might be noticing here is that there's an EU time and an NA time. We have one at 12 p.m. Eastern, which works out to about 5 p.m. in London. And then we have one at 7 p.m. Eastern, which should help out a lot of players on the West Coast play in this event. That being said, we still have a lot of cool things going on. Expect similar prizing that we've had for other late night series events. Expect better staffing, except expect better tournament experiences and of course we do have a stream going up for this season as well and i will be streaming the event on twitch that being said we have the whole season up on the play limitless website late night 51 all the way through 70 runs until we hit the reach the invitational on november 5th so check that out sign up today and support zach lesage events and the shuffle squad see you there